I want to propose, honorable members, if we're going to get through this recession, we need to swap the outdated policies of the ANC and take on 21st century future-focused ideas that will be brought forward by the DA. We're part of the global economy. And I want to say this to you just this morning. I visited an enterprise in Delft. I was so proud of the work of innovation about the future of South Africa. This is where we've got to go. And if we need ideas about how to pick up the rand, I've got a few to share with you. And I'd like you, Minister Patel and Minister of Finance, to take some notes. Number one, I believe we must cut loose SOEs that are dragging us down. Yes we must privatize or part privatize SAA if we're going to stop paying bailouts. We must split ESCOM into two separate businesses, one for power production and the other for distribution. Number two, we must put an end to the stifling ESCOM monopoly by allowing cities to directly purchase power from independent power producers. Number three, we must curb spending and stabilize our national debt at about 50% of GDP by introducing a fiscal austerity package. All revenue shortfalls must be covered by cutting waste and not increasing taxes, honorable members. Number four, and I want to urge you, this might affect some of you whose jobs are dependent on it. We must, as a matter of urgency, cut this cabinet in half. We must get rid of deputy ministers. Because many of them are appointed for the purposes of patronage, not for the service of the people in our country. Number five, Minister Zulu, we must ensure ultimately that we exempt small businesses from complying with unworkable labor legislation. Those employing less than 250 people must be given all and possible options for success. Labor laws that restrict them should be scrapped and we must remain with, we must adhere to the basic conditions of employment. Number six, we must immediately settle all budgeted for invoices that are owed by, for small businesses by national and provincial governments. This alone will add 28 billion rands to boost the SMME sector. And number seven, ladies and honorable members, we need to scrap reckless populist policies that are destroying investor confidence in our country. You know, since the announcement of President Ramaphosa, our rent has already depreciated by 15%. If we keep going with populism, we'll end up like countries like Venezuela and Zimbabwe and end up leading our people to become even more poor. Fellow South Africans, I want to urge you, let us abandon irresponsible and a reckless plunge towards expropriation without comp compensation. Let us reform land, but let's do it so within our constitution. It doesn't mean that land reform and restitution must be delayed. Actually, on the contrary, I want it to be accelerated, I want it to be sped up, but it must involve full title to the people, not to the state. Because this, if this is done properly, it will ensure private property rights and ultimately the rule of law, not the populism you are adopting. We must, honorable members, stand up for the independence of the Reserve Bank. We must stop trying to undermine Reserve Bank governor and actually defend him and ensure that we, we continue the work of a functioning Reserve Bank. If we implement these changes right away, I believe we can do the changes that we need to undo the damage of the past decade.